let's say Buttigieg was on the ticket, somehow not voting or whatever, because I, I can't see them voting for Trump. So, the, so would they not vote? A conservative Democrat would not vote for a Harris Buttigieg ticket? I, I don't get that. It might not be their cup of tea, so to speak. Maybe they, or whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I'm sorry. It's hard to get into, into the mindset of some of these people. When, when for me, I'm just like, I think Kamala Harris is great. I love her policy policy positions. And I think Buttigieg is awesome. I love the way he, uh, the way he can just shut someone down in an argument with facts. And it's like, boom, you know. I mean, he's just quick-witted and quick, sharp mind. That's what I see. I don't see that he's gay. And I don't see that Kamala is a person of color. I mean, although, I mean, you can see her. But, you know, I mean, that doesn't even enter into my my way of thinking about, you know, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what your color is. I don't give a fuck what your sexual orientation is or whatever. If, if you are a good person and you have good and you're running for president or any any office, it's about your policy positions. It's about your ideology. That's what matters to me. And your track record, of course, you know. Uh, I don't give a fuck if you're if you're a person of color. I don't give a fuck if you're gay. Hell, we could have a trans president. I don't give a fuck. As long as their their policy positions and ideology match mine, at least, and it doesn't have to be 100%. I don't give a fuck about your sexual orientation, your skin color, any of that kind of shit. It's about your, uh, your ideologies and your policy positions. And like I said, it doesn't even have to be 100%. Hey, if we're 85%, I'm great. Hey, I'm, I'm with you.